everybody. Wow, look at this. All my students who are required to be here are happy to be here. Isn't that amazing? I think, I think that's a victory in itself. If I require a student to be here and they show up happily, I've done my job as a teacher. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I am Dr. Nick Sabicki. I'll do my little wave. Thanks. So tonight, hopefully you all came here to witness something new. This is a world premiere. I don't like advertising that fact because I kind of feel like it's bad luck or something. Um, but it is. This is a brand new piece of music uh, that you will hear as part of tonight's, uh, we'll say, experience. Um, but, you know, what I hope that you get out of this uh, is you also not just, you know, come and enjoy some music, um, but you'd see how music uh, can work both on the acoustic level as well as uh, through electronic media. And what we are trying to do here is take these groups of, group of musicians who will come out very shortly and do things to them that they had no intention of doing when they actually made a sound on their instrument. Uh, we're going to be changing their sound, we're going to be modifying their sound, we're going to be delaying their sound. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of things that I'm going to do really mean, nasty things that they're not going to like me for to how they sound. Now the question is why? Why are we doing this? You know, you're all here, you all understand why you're here, hopefully. Maybe I won't go into it too deeply, but why are we doing this? Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go just a little bit of history. Uh, in the early 20th century, there was a very famous philosopher named John Dewey. Uh, and no, who's no, no John Dewey fans? All right. I, I thought I'd try. Well, anyway, John Dewey is famous early 20th century American philosopher. Uh, he wrote a big book called Art as Experience, and he was trying to define for us what is art. Like, why do we do it? Why do we care? And uh, particularly from the American perspective, because the Germans and the French and the Europeans, they all had art, right? They all had this thing called art. And clearly Americans were not artistic, right? We, we, we did not make art. That was for the Europeans. So he decided, uh, among a lot of his other philosophizing, uh, that art isn't, isn't about the creator. It's actually about the experience. It's about the perception of it that makes it art. And that's sort of the aesthetic that I believe in, too. I'm here tonight giving you this performance not because you know, I believe I'm a composer and I'm a sound engineer and I should do these things just because that's what I do, but rather because you know, I want to give you guys an experience. So this experience uh, is a little bit different than most other experiences um, because I really hope that, uh, it, unlike just a traditional concert, right, you guys can see this as an environment. These are not just musicians. These are characters that are participating in a sound world. And that's where the new experience comes in. For me, new experiences are something that are really memorable often, right? If you've ever been to a new place, you often remember the first time you go there, right? Because there's something about it that, that hopefully changes how you think about the world and how you perceive everything around you. And I think John Dewey agreed with me as well, right? That music, among the arts, uh, it helps by this newness, by this freshness, by this revitalization of, you know, what our experience is normally used to. So, which brings us to, before the show, I want to just demonstrate for you guys uh, some of the types of things, some of the types of sounds, I'd be mean things, would be doing to these instruments, among other things. Uh, and hopefully my buddy uh, Judson is back there and he's ready. And I'm just going to keep talking and maybe he'll do something to me. Hello? Hello? Judson, are you there? Oh, oh. Do you guys know this sound? Well, no, not that sound. The other sound. Go back to the other sound. We weren't done with the other sound yet. No, no, no. Go back. Up there. Well, this is a cool sound too, isn't it? Okay. Are we doing something now? I don't know. We didn't really brief Judson too well. I just, uh, here's the deal. I wrote this software over the last couple of years. It does all these sorts of crazy things like you're hearing right now. And I said, hey, Judson, you're going to use this. Hit the button and do something cool. That's cool too. You can hear that. It's actually chopping up my voice and sort of slowing it down. We're going to do a lot of that to the instruments. I really like this sound. For me, this is a really cool sound uh, that instruments can't really do very well, right? But we can do very easily electronically. And we're speeding it back up. Okay. <laughs> All right, what if we go further down the list? Cool. All right, what if we go further down the list? All right, we got a little loop going. All right, what if we go further down the list? I don't even have to right, what if we go going. further down? All right, what if we go further down? What's next? 
They're destroying me. Now I know how the instrumental is. Now I know how the instrumental is. Now I know how the instrumental is. Hey, go back to that. That was gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I know that one. 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 Me. Now I know how the instrumentalists feel up here. It's gonna be fun. Anyway. What else you got? Is that the end? Oh, hey guys. Uh... Hey, that's fun. I just play my own music more. Ooh. All right, thank you, Judson. <laughs> so yeah, that give you guys an idea of the type of things you can be listening for, the ways this can be interactive. No? OK, yes. Yeah, this is good. Sorry, I'm used to teaching students who I can actually see. This is, I can see no one. Just, I'm not sure if that's clear by this flight. That's kind of true. <laughs> I teach an 830 class. <laughs> kind of used to it. All right, so in addition to these, we're also going to be doing some live sampling. Sometimes you'll hear these instruments get caught up and get regurgitated back in various ways. There are a bunch of pre-recorded samples uh, that will also be mixed in as well. On stage, you can also see a various number of percussion instruments that they'll pick up and play at the same time. My instrumentalists were very unhappy about this because they're used to playing their instrument. And when I tell them to play something else, they're like, well, what about the clarinet? Or... What am I going to do on the violin? You know, it's, we had this, you can do more than one thing at once, right? Sometimes. We'll see some one-handed piano playing and some one-handed timpani playing later on. That'll be exciting, I think. Uh, but anyway, again, I'm hoping this all contributes to this idea of the experience is an environment that's created on stage, right? These aren't just a clarinet, a violin, a cello, and a piano that we're going to see come out. Uh, they're going to do other things with their bodies, with themselves, with their instruments that, you know, hopefully also create the, in, uh, the environment, right? This is a physical and sonic environment that's surrounding us all. So again, this piece is called Borderlands. Hopefully most of you guys got a program. There's a little, uh, if you didn't, basically there's gonna be seven sections of music. Um, if you didn't get a program, look at the person next to you and share, because you sound like you're all nice, friendly people. Uh, and I hope you enjoy the show. Please welcome out our performers. We have Debbie DeMiro on piano. Keep coming. I can't see who's back there. Adi Askenazi on clarinet. Terry Nelson. Oh, I'm going to screw it up. Zag is it Zagar? All right. I actually never asked her about the pronunciation of it, and I should have before this very moment. And Dylan Reich. Oh, man. All right. Well, thanks, guys. We'll see you at the end. Thank you. 
Thank you.